and welcome back to another landscape photography video. My name's Susanna, thank you so much for joining. So during this video, I'm gonna be taking you guys with me to Bergen. This is a seven hour train journey which you catch from Oslo and it takes you through some amazing scenery um, of which is quite a varied landscape and terrain. You can't take photos on the platforms because the train doesn't stop for very long, um, but it is a beautiful scene nonetheless. So you can just sit back, look out the window and really enjoy the scenery around you. So booking this train, it will cost you around about £80 one way. I'm staying in a B&B in Bergen and it's not costing very much. So if you wanted to um, keep the cost down, then I definitely recommend you guys doing an Airbnb. So to book the train, you need to go onto NSB website and it's pretty straightforward. You can do a single or you can do a return. I'll be doing a return so I can get some extra footage on the way back. Once I arrived at Bergen, I headed over to my accommodation. Bergen is a beautiful town with picturesque side streets and misty mountains. I settled down for the night ready for my first photography adventure. The next day, I was in luck. The mountains were covered in rolling mist and I caught the cable car up to Mount Floyen, one of the many heights that surround Bergen. So the first location I've chosen is one of the mountains that surround Bergen and it's absolutely stunning up here. In the town there's um, lots of rain and there's no mist or anything like that but as you head into the, the highlands that surround the town there's this dense thick mist that's rolling in and out of the trees which looks really cool. So I found my first composition, uh, <laughs> it, it, it took me a while because when I first got here I was a little bit like a kid in a sweet shop and I just didn't know where to look or what to photograph. So I kind of took my time, walked through and had a little look around to see what caught my eye and what was catching the light best. One of the things I want to work on is misty uh, photography and also my light um, interpretation. So how I get light into my images and how that affects the landscape. Um, because without light I feel like some images can look quite flat. So I really want to work on my skills in doing that. So this composition in front of me here is a leading walkway to some misty trees and at the base of the trees you've got these really cool roots which are catching the light quite nicely. So I'm doing various different types of images. I'm going again like my last video, I'm going quite low and quite high to get different perspectives and then choose which I prefer. My current settings are just talking you guys through where I'm at with this. I'm on 10th of a second, ISO 100 F11 and I'm focus stacking. The reason I'm focus stacking this time is because I've got this in the foreground which needs to be pin sharp and in the background I want some of the trees in focus too.
am back again on Mount Fluen, which is in Bergen, and I've come up on the second day because the conditions are different. So this location is absolutely stunning. We don't have mist today, but today we do have um, really diffused light. And something that's caught my attention is this nice leading line of a walkway into silver birch trees, which I think is really quite stunning. So I've set up in a vertical composition here, and I'm gonna go through my sense with you. So talking you through my settings, I'm on F11, so I've got really good depth of field. ISO 100, I want to keep that as low as possible. And my shutter speed is around one tenth of a second. So just going to focus up, take the shot. Thank you for joining me this week for my travels in Bergen. Please like and subscribe to support this content. It's been an amazing experience traveling abroad for my photography. I feel it's really tested me and developed my skills when planning dedicated photography trips. Tune in next week where I take a road trip from Bergen to Flam in Norway.